Let's look at the exercise called the SNAP, which is where the snapper's name came from. It's a great exercise for helping the client know that they're releasing their wrist and developing full power into the golf shot. Now we know as golf coaches that that full power comes from using the body, the arms, and then delivering the power through the wrist into the golf ball. That's why all the exercises of the snapper are worked in that way. It helps to integrate the whole body, gets the arc, and then finally that snap into the golf ball. So make sure you use all of them with your clients. But let's take a look at this one first of all. There's gonna be an audible feedback for them to know they've really released that full power. This is what they're gonna hear. That's the sound they're gonna to work to achieve. So how do you get your clients to build up to that? Well, first of all, what we do is get them set up and take them through to the L position, which is where they can generate the power from. They're not gonna do the exercise from there, but it's just to give them that awareness again and to get them built up ready. So with your clients set up, get them to take the snapper back to number nine and then create the L shape with the wrist here. Now they're fully loaded. That's the position they can at least generate the snap from. Just get them to rehearse that one or two times so they remember where they're going to go back to. Once they've done that, now they're going to do it as a continuous motion and from there, keep going to create that snapping action. So here we go. So it's through to there and then they release and suddenly they will feel everything working but really feel that power coming out of their body, out into the wrist and then crack. They're going to hear that nice snapping sound. Use all the exercises with the snapper and then finally this one will integrate everything, build up the power and your clients can have a lot of fun watching that ball fly a long way.